hey guys, uh, this is a uh, new series here. Um, okay, we're gonna keep this on. See, oh, there he is. I was wondering where Panarin was. He's on the far line. Okay, that's great. Um, so we're gonna make this new series here, uh, but the Blackhawks GM mode. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm going to pick the Blackhawks instead of any other team to rebuild instead, it's, it's going to be a simple goal. We're not trying to rebuild this team. We're going to try to make this team the next Detroit. So that means we're going to try our best to make this team very, um, let's say we're going to try to make them, we're going to try to beat the 25 uh, record from Detroit. Because in this game, they're going to get out by year three at least, and I'm going to say we're going to break it. And I think um, we're here to look through our team. I'm just looking through and see what we can get here. So our top, uh, our top lineup is Hosa, Hayes, and Kane, which I think we might mix up and get TV down there. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of this contract. Our uh, goal is going to get rid of Brian Bickle. In this game, I know he's an 83, but in real life, he is a pain to have. And I don't, why is Kurt up here? So this is um, our top six. Right here is Anisinov, Shaw, Terry Lighting, and then Pace Kane. Our defense is pretty much our right. I'm going to try to get some future defensemen. Runblad should not even be in this list. Um, Roosevelt, Scuderi, and Jomberson, Keith and Seawith. And our goaltending is obviously Corey Crawford and Scott Dunning. And I know, I know this is going to suck, but the first thing I'm actually going to look for in the draft is an elite guard starting goaltender. I want an elite goaltending. This is probably the only way we're going to get this done, but um, for now Crawford will go here. It's going to be something in the future, so probably when he's done, we got something ready, so we don't have to scatter a goalie and get like um, an 86 overall goaltender in the free agency because he's going to retire or be a backup, depending on how he ages. And Patrick Kane, he's in middle lead. By the by, the end of this, he's going to be a um, still. He's going to be there as an elite. He's going to turn exact right in one more year. Uh, Hosa, we could probably get rid of this, but I'm going to hold on to him, and this is the reason why. In, the, in this universe, we have Evi Kovachuk in here because he's out of the KHL now. In this universe, we're going to say every team agreed to make him stay, so he's right here. No team has offered him any contracts yet. He's going to ask for a first-line row, 32. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a no chance of offering this contract, but let's see. Yeah, there is no chance. Um... We can get Alexander Semi. We could get someone to, look, to fill this point out, but there's nothing to trade. Um, so that's going to be our way through this. Um, asking me what you guys want to do some trading. I'm going to probably do some trading. Um, I'm going to see what we can get rid of, because this is my first concern right here is Bickle. I want to use this $4 million on a yep, yep on an upcoming developing prospect. Uh, I might take something from Edmonton, because usually in this game, by year two, Edmonton's a beast, and they will destroy you. So, um, I'm gonna, so basically the team we gotta watch out for this series is the, is the Edmonton Oilers. I know they're not, they're not gonna be good year in year one, but they grow unbelievably in this game, and to the point where it's unfair. So, um, they're gonna grow into something. Um, so that's gonna be great. Uh, I did watch the Hawks and Blues series. And um, I just got to say, by the look of the first two games, I know this series is not going to be clean or fair. So that's what I'm just going to say on it. I did not like the coaches' challenges. I think it shouldn't be there, in my opinion. We won, win's a win. I don't care. I'm just kind of frustrated, because if that happens to us, I know I guarantee you all are going to be pissed off. But, um, but for now, that, that's a game. Games like that happen all the time, so it's no biggie. Um, but, alright, so those are scratches. Van Riemsdyk, and we're gonna, I want to get James instead. And, um, let's see, uh, we're going to check our trade block now. Let's check our trade block. So, um, we're gonna do some trading. Michael Langton, no. Um, okay, let me see. And Buffalo, Buffalo, why Buffalo? They're not gonna trade anything away. Um, you know, let's try. I can get Stefan. Uh, no, we're gonna go to Calgary. Yeah, let's get a, a future goalie from Calgary. No, we're not gonna get anything. I think we'll get Jack Campbell actually. I think Jack Campbell will be perfect. 
uh, to grow. Um, he'd be perfect backup for the minor leagues. Uh, Jack Campbell has something to go. He is now a starter. They're, they're, they, he's just the draft pick that is just there. That's really all you can say. And uh, Byzantine is a low elite. Hmm. So we got to get rid of Michael Lennington, apparently. Uh, let's see, no one's gonna want him, so this trade's gonna be a bust. Let's see what we can get them to the Predators. Let's trade for this. No, we can't go through. Uh, I'm gonna try to give Byzantine minutes, because that's an elite goaltender. And goal, perfectly planned. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see, let's go through, ejected. We're gonna throw in a third round pick. I wanna get rid of this guy. I want to grow Byzantine. If he has a shot to be an elite, we're gonna give him that shot. So, oh my gosh. Alright, so, apparently they're stubborn. We only have a couple picks. They would like the third. Would that go through? Hmm, that was a done deal. I'm just getting rid of our backup, Michael Lennington. So Byzantine can get some starts, because we don't need an elite goalie if Byzantine can be an elite. So if Byzantine can be an elite, I'm fine with that. But right now, the goal is to try to get something going. We're going to have to try... Um, there, there's no way we're gonna get Kovachuk, so I know this might make a lot of people- What the heck? No, I want my trading block. My trading block. Ed trading block. So, the players we're gonna add, we're not getting rid of our first round pick. We're gonna use that to draft a defenseman. Um, we're gonna keep this guy. Um, you know, what? we're gonna put Hosa to see what we can get on there. I, I honestly don't think we're gonna get anything. I think we're gonna keep him by the end. But we're just trying to get rid of uh, players. Bickle, we need to get rid of Bickle for sure. Um, 2017 first round pick. I do not think so for a team that needs it. So um, I think yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now. Uh, we'll go through the preseason. Um, there, there's really I know he's going to be so upset, Bickle, but you just kind of deserve it. But um, oh, so I mean. I think he can retire. I think he can retire. He could maybe retire here. It depends what happens. Oh, what? So, uh, for enough boarding you. Let's uh, let's just simulate the preseason and see what would happen. Um, let's just see because we really don't have to do anything that much for now. Um, this team's guaranteed a cup contender for a couple years, so we got that going. Oh crap, Kane's injured. <laughs> Oh, he's back, okay. And we are having a not so good preseason. Oh boy. Okay, um, and this is, this, the good news is because I don't really do the rosters for preseason. And these are all AHR rosters, so I can tell you, and Rockford does not look good. But, um, okay, he's doing alright. I'm just seeing what players that are going to be here. Uh, he can do some fan rooms like Robertson. Where is he? Oh, God. And then Byzantine's getting the starts. This is smart because, um, you know, we, we, we gotta try. We gotta see what he can do um, and grow him. But, I mean, that's that's really what we can do here. Alright, so the first game here, we're gonna simulate the first month. I just keep hitting the buttons. I should just hit the calendar. So, alright, we're going to simulate the first month. Uh, I will be right back guys, and we're back. Okay, so we're going to simulate to the... We're going to simulate to the All-Star break, apparently. So let's get this, uh, let's get, let's get the All-Star break going. Alright, let's see what this team will do. We're 2-3-1 th and one in the preseason, not that good. Uh, Morales is changing. I think I shouldn't have put him on the trade block, because now he's not going to do anything. But, I, uh, right. I... I mean, I'm just, just going to see what, what people will get for Rosa. I should have known I should have got Rosa, though. Game 81, hmm, what should we say? This is just one of 82, so let's focus on our A game and, we'll come, and the results will come. I want you to bring a, a game right out there in the gate starting tonight. We trained all offseason for this. I know you can win. Focus on the system and get this job done. Yeah, if I see you dogging it out there tonight, you'll be... <laughs> Alright, um, this is just game anyone. Let's focus on our game and the results will come. Yeah, I, I think that's nice. Yeah, everyone's happy on that. Let's see, there are times I don't want to walk in that rock room. Really? Thanks for the input. I'm happy with the group we have here. Why are you like, I don't want to walk in here. I'm on a dynasty. I want to leave. Okay, fine. 
Um, we'll, we'll deal with you later. Um, yeah, you should be the solution, not the problem. Ah, who cares? We're, we're probably going to find an elite defenseman in free agency anyways. And we lose 4-1. That's just going great. I shouldn't have done anything. All right, we got a point. Um, let me see. I think I should have not done anything. Well, there you go. Ah, well, I think we can bounce back. It's playoffs. That's what I'm focusing on. It is not how we get in. And Host is injured, so there goes the trade block. Um, I think I might take him off if no one's going to give me any offers. I'm just going to see what they'll give me, and I'll see. If it's just a second round pick, I'm not. I want like a future player out of it to a team that can use him in the playoffs. Like a team that I know is going to go far. And we bounce back. Okay, that's good. We're bouncing back 6-2, and we lose to Winnipeg. And we lose to Minnesota. Uh, let's see. And decline. I, I don't want any players. I'm not spending this, my cap space on any of these players. Um, we, we need to get rid of Bickle for sure. I'm just hoping that someone's going to give me a trade for Bickle. That's all I really want. Um, this is a big rivalry. Everybody needs to get above and beyond. We need to win in a dominant fashion. Yeah, I mean, it is the... Uh, whatever. Is this the Blues or the Canucks? Um, it is a rivalry game, so I'll, I'll look that. Play smart, play with passion, and play our game, boys. Don't be emotional for you, but use it tonight and let us win this. Yes. Yeah, no one could get mad at that. What do you want, Dano? Good performances are something natural to me. <laughs> Obviously. I've seen better. <laughs> I've seen better, I expect more from you. That's probably typical of me. Uh, there's a lot of to be proud of. Good work. Yeah, you can always do better. Don't rest your lanterns. You have been nailing it lately. Yes, you have. <laughs> it's just a negative effect. I'll be laughing if that's a negative effect. It's just sarcastic. Oh, well, it's the blues. And we beat the blues. All right. Um, and we beat my Devils. And this is the team. They don't, they're bad now, but I guarantee you in like year three, they're going to dominate. I, I guarantee you. Just watch it happen. Um... And then we beat the Devils again in the shootout. So Devils got a point, we got a point, win-win situation. All right, and we should be on a one, two, three, four, five game winning streak. Going good right now. And I mean, I haven't done anything. I want to do something. I want to get rid of Bickle so badly so we can get a future player and to help this streak continue. Um, Rockford's above 500, so Byzantine's doing all right. I don't think that's going to bring that team to the playoffs because it's not it's not a dominating thing. I don't think that's going to happen. That's not... I don't know. I don't know what was her sample. So that's good. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, no, we're not. No. Oh boy. Uh, both teams are fine. I was looking at Rocker. I wasn't paying attention. Go to player morale. Uh, let's see what you guys want. Jeremy Morin. I just don't want to complain about my lack of ice time. It's really frustrating me. And he's an elite player, so I don't know what to do. Um, I need you to go out there and leave me no choice to give you minutes. Please be positive. Why? Why negative? Yeah. Alright. Whatever. So apparently I'm not going off the right way. Let's see. Where is he? Jamie Martin. In the world. We need this guy to stay good. Jamie Martin. He's an 80. He did not like that. And he is a right wing elite. Let me see what we can do here. And we shout out Adam. Good job. Good job, guys. Alright. Let me see what we can do. Where's Jamie Mullen? If he isn't, if he's scratched, I'm going to kill this game. Um, he is scratched, apparently. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, who is this coach, by the way? What? I mean, really? Really? They're going to scratch Jamie Mullen. Um, who can we get rid of? Bickle. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's sun Bickle down in real life and put Jamie Mullen in. Uh, I don't know, um, he is a right wing, so, I'm, I'm there, and he is, he's doing alright, and, uh, you know what, I think we need to give more than a shot, so, what's, I think we're gonna send him down to Rockford, I think he will be pissed, but, no, I, I don't know, um, we gotta address this player, and then everyone's gonna be mad, but whatever. Uh, let me see, and then we're gonna have to send down Garvin. I think it will be the perfect call. It will be perfect. Jamie Mullen, changing current mind. Jamie Mullen, there we go. And that's why. 
You know, I think we're gonna get rid of Garbage in a trade. This is gonna be our first trade. We're gonna see who we want Garbage and then give Jeremy Mullins some ice time because this is ridiculous. We should not let an elite player get scratched like that. That's gonna kill. I can see why this team is gonna go away. Um, Jeremy Mullins. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I didn't get a trade though, um, but I did. I did get on there, so I didn't want to waste any time. I just gonna see who would want Garbic. I think they would want Garbic. What should we get for Garbic? We're just gonna see who's gonna match their block. Patrick Elias. Why not? Let's get no. <laughs> We're not doing that. Um, no, I, I don't want to get rid of. I, maybe an AHL guy. Someone from Joe Fortin. Yeah, why not? Let's get Joe Fortin. Seriously. Because a trial. Yeah, why, why not? Let's actually get someone from the AHL. Um, um, they're gonna have to pay me. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Um, Arizona can get, you can get some from Arizona. Uh huh. Of course. What the? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't know he was paid four million. Okay, that is not good, Gianta. This is bad. This is really bad. We gotta have to trade him for a pick. Um, Edmonton there, they can trade for uh, a third round pick. Not gonna, it's not gonna kill anyone. Let's do it. Um, yeah, third round pick. That's, that seems fair. There we go. Wanting to trade away Ryan Garbock. We got an elite player that's scratch, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do something. Please put Jeremy Mullen on there. Um, yes, he is. He's getting four fine ice time. He's an elite player. He should be growing. He's part of our future. So good for him. He's getting ice time. I hope this does not screw anything up. It didn't. It actually increased our offense by one, I think. That's good. That's actually good news. So, um, to the calendar, I guess. All right, we're going to have to, or this close to the all-star break, let's see where we're going to be at. Um... And then we'll simulate to the trade deadline in the next episode. And I think that's when it's going to get crazy. I think that's when we're going to try to get something. If no one, no one's going to trade away Bickle, I don't want to buy him out because then I have to deal with the buyout contract. And that's just going to just ruin everything. Right now, I think we're a contention for President's Trophy right now. Um, with at least a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 game winning streak. We lost in the 15th. Beat at Edmonton. Uh, it's going in great now. So, let's see. Hmm. Vince Ebrook, he's happy. I wonder what he wants to say. I really have to know I am still playing with my team lately. Oh, uh, my playing time lately. My fights are playing team. Alright, we found some good balance here. Of course, some am going nice time. Okay, yeah, alright. This team is gonna be like a wild card team in just a couple of years, and it's my job to keep them in that position. Because I know they're gonna be good in the first few years. Everyone knows that. So, um, and then pretty much by year four, if you're playing on the other team, you will be in the wild card or be straight dead. So I gotta be really careful what I'm going to have to do. There's gonna be some risks taken. And after we simulate to the all-star break, which we are, um, we're not doing so good. Let's try to beat Nashville. Beat him in overtime, two points. Let's see, what do you guys want? Um, Brett Zebrook wants more questions. Management seems like it's on the ball lately. I haven't done anything yet, but okay. Thanks a lot. Um, I got some concerns. Uh, I have no concerns. Okay. Are you serious? Why are you scratching all these future talents? Um, so I'm going to have to send him down. Runblad is dressed? You're kidding me? He is still on this team. I'm being serious. Who is putting Runblad here? Alright. Mm. Best lines. He's scratched in the best lines. What, what a joke. Okay, um, go to Rossi's. We're gonna have to send you down for a year. I'm sorry. Don't be pissed at me. I'm sorry. You have no choice. Um, 
I mean, I would rather have him get ice time this, right? I hope he doesn't get mad. We, we, can we even send him down? Dang it, he's injured, that's why he's trapped. Someone's injured. Okay, so, that's cool. So, ooh, this is the playoff standings. I should look at the standings before we uh, face Toronto. We, oh, Minnesota is in first. Oh, that's unexpected. How are they in first? Um, one second, Dallas is third, Minnesota and Colorado. Broken playoff spots right now. When the peg can take that spot in Nashville is not doing good. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic, let's see. No, I'm going to see the Pacific. Kings, of course, are dominating in Edmonton. Uh, they're not doing so great, and pretty much as usual. Ooh, Calgary's really sticking good. Um, let's see, who's first in the Western Conference? Kings, we're third in our conference. Not bad. Um, let's just see. I want to see who took Kovachuk. Is Kovachuk still a free agent? Because then I think we can get rid of Bickle. Okay. And Kovachuk's still a free agent. No one is getting Kovachuk. Really? That's like a seven million. I'm just going to give him this offer because no one is giving him any offers. He is not going to accept in this game. But I mean, like, if no one is giving him offers, that's like a 90 overall player. That's like perfect for a playoff run. Why is no one accepting him? Um, whatever. He could actually help our playoff benefit if I can get rid of a couple guys. He's not going to accept, of course. I don't feel like I'm getting any money that I deserve based on my skills. Of course you're not, but no one's offering you anything. So that's the best I got. Okay, I, I wish I can give you more, but I can't. So... Looks like in this universe, no one wants him. They'll allow him back in the league, but no one will want him. So, it's going good. We're losing some games now. And there's the All-Star break. We're 30-17-6. and six. That is a pretty good record, guys. We're going to be near the trade deadline soon. Um, I'm going to simulate up to the, next, to the trade deadline. Oh, crap. I did not realize what I just said. The locker room is a really nice place. Thank you. Seabrook is really happy here. Um, keep to. But, um, Tara Biden's doing fine. Let's see Jamie Moore. I want to see what his stats are. I don't, I'm going to make sure we did the right thing. And I think trading Garbuck was the right thing to do. Um, Boone to an 81. And he's having oh, an okay season. Not bad for a fourth one. Um, Osa is, is he going to have, is he doing good? Yeah, all right. He's doing fine. Okay, so that's doing good. Um, oh, oh, first trade. Okay. Um, let's see. Is this trade going to benefit us in any way? Um, no, not really. That's going to screw up a lot of things. Unless he goes to the miners one way. Because they're asking for a miner. Why would they want... I think they're seeing him as an elite. Because I don't want to do this trade. Because it might screw up with Jeremy Mullen. Um, let me see. I'm gonna. This is, might be ridiculous, but I'm gonna see if this game will actually do it. You know, let's do our let's do our Brian Bickle blockbuster trade here right now. Let's get rid of Bickle. Um, goalies matching scary records. Why do they want Scott Brown? Um, I mean, I, there's nothing against them, but really, do they really just want anything but Kinke? <laughs> anything but Kinke. And Bickle, of course, is not going to be in anyone's trade block. Um, I just screwed up this entire trade. Let's see, what did they want it? Um, don't remember. I think those is that. Yeah. This is the trade. Okay, so he will be perfect for the minor leagues. He should not be in Chicago. Why did you trade away him? I don't know. It seemed like a good trade. Now Jamie Mullen's scratch again, I guarantee it. He's gone. Um, we're just going to be here to help our minor league team, but sorry. Um, easier for the minor leagues. He's not going to interfere with Jamie Mullen's playing time. No! Um, yeah, can I be? Yeah. <laughs> really excited. Okay, this was a waste. I don't know. Nah, who cares? Gone through waivers. Really excited to be on your team. Uh, I didn't know he had waivers. I should have done that. All right, that's a bust right away. First bust is a GM. But all right, give us, a, give, give us, a, gives us away cap space. It gives us away cap space. 
right, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. We'll simulate to the trade deadline, and then after that, we'll see what trades we'll need to do. I'm going to do some trades. You saw my first trade, and I'll see you next time.